Good morning from the Shikoku Island here in Japan. I just arrived last night after 24 hours of travel. I'm here at the Eowau Naruto Resort. I wrote it down so I would try to pronounce it correctly. As you guys know, my Japanese pronunciations aren't the best. I'm working on it, I promise. But I am here, I arrived last night to an incredible buffet dinner, fresh tuna cut right in front of us. It was a beautiful start. I'm so happy to be back in this country and I'm very excited. It's a, it's a part of the country I've never been before. And there's the ocean right behind me. It should be a great week of exploration. This new region in Japan, let's go. The last time I came to Japan, it just didn't feel complete. I visited that typical trail of Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka, and a few other spots, and no doubt it was an incredible first trip. But I left feeling like there was still so much more to experience. Enter in the Shikoku Tourism Board, representing a region of Japan that honestly I'd never heard of until that email came through. The email asked if I wanted to come experience the smallest of the country's four major islands. A week-long, full-on road trip across all four prefectures and a laundry list of things to do. Of course, I said yes, and here I am. On a mission to travel deeper and experience more of this captivating country. The only difference is, on this trip, I have a team behind me. There's Nick and Masuda on the logistics and translations, Tyler, the man behind the lens, Miss Yagi, our operations coordinator, and our fearless wheelman, Mr. Sato. Not to mention, all the characters we'll meet along the way. And our first stop on this overland adventure is actually in the water, on a boat trip out to the tidal whirlpools of the Naruto Strait. Thank you. Day one, first stop. We're gonna go on Aqua Eddy. Hello. Aqua Eddy is the boat. That's where we're heading to. The current in the strait is the fastest in Japan, and the whirlpools are a result of the changing water levels between the Pacific Ocean and the Inland Sea, much like the salt strama we saw in Buda, Norway. All right, first stop of the trip, we're on a boat, and we're looking over at the Naruto whirlpools, this incredible cycling, spinning chaos of water. This area is actually the third strongest current in the world, and the whirlpools can get up to 1.5 meters deep. For some reason, we're in a boat, very close, right in the middle of the whirlpool, but I'm told we're in a safe distance and we won't get sucked in to another dimension. That's what I'm told anyway, but look at this water pressure. The swirling water is a fine enough attraction, but the truth is my mind is elsewhere. I can't settle back into Japan until I get my ramen fix. And for that, it's over to a traditional Tokushima ramen spot for lunch. This one? Okay. There you go there. Tickets. <laughs> I've actually never had this style of ramen before. A combination of tonkatsu or pork bone broth and shoyu or soy based broth with pork slices, green onions, bamboo shoots, and topped with a raw egg. Rich, a little sweet, and exactly the start I hoped for. And now I'm ready to go explore. We head up to Mount Bizan to gain a perspective on Tokushima City, the capital of Tokushima Prefecture and home to some 320,000 people. All right, after a delicious ramen lunch, we are now at the top of Bizan Mountain, which overlooks all of Tokushima. There are some incredible views of the city. Look at this. It's really interesting to see this sprawling cityscape from above, considering in World War II, nearly 75% of the city was destroyed by US air attacks. It's just crazy to think about. Back 
back down the mountain, we venture into the Awa Adori Festival Hall to get a taste of the area's famous cultural dance festival. Oban Festival happens every summer across Tokushima and features groups of choreographed Awa Odori dancers and musicians just like this group. They get about halfway through the performance and then call up audience members to see who has the best moves. I blame the heavy ramen. I lost. I lost the competition. Shot on the sidelines. They beat me. Just lost. Now I wasn't as good of a dancer. That afternoon, we change gears, get out of the city, and dive into perhaps the most popular reason why people come to Shukoku, the Ohenro Buddhist pilgrimage. And to get a true understanding of the trek, I meet Shozan no Sei, a Buddhist monk who has done the full 88 temple journey over 80 times. The trek follows in the footsteps of influential Buddhist monk Kukai, who's credited with establishing this trail. Yep. Alright, we have just made it down to the first temple of the Ohenro Buddhist pilgrimage here in the Shikoku region. I'm told that this is what they traditionally wear to make the trek. It crosses four different prefectures, it's 88 different temples, over 1400 kilometers. And we're just going to do the first two today and just to get a taste of what it's like to make this pilgrimage. And already this first temple is absolutely incredible. The architecture, the different relics, there's waterfalls, there's koi fish. It is beautiful. And we have a local guide showing us what you're supposed to do. We're going to walk up to the main building and go through all of the process in order to start this Buddhist pilgrimage that is so famous here in the region. All right, the first thing that we have to do when we enter in the main building of the temple First, you ring the bell for fortune. And after that, you come over here and you light a candle. You place the candle right up here. Second, you come over and you burn some incense right here. Then you make a donation right there. And the fourth thing you do is you put your name and a wish right here. And only after that, you enter in to the incredible main room. Look at these lanterns. Right, after all the rituals at the first temple, we have officially begun the pilgrimage. From temple number one, we're off to temple number two, and it's just along the street here. It's through just the regular part of town. We're on our way. Even if you're not religious, even if you're not Buddhist or, or you're Christian or whatever it may be, no matter what your religion, you can truly appreciate just the silence and the peacefulness of these temples. They are so serene, so tranquil, so quiet. Just walking through here with all the different greenery, particular temple, one important ritual is to make a wish to this figurine in red clothing. And if it feels light when you pick it up, it's said that the wish will come true. Ooh. It seemed heavy at first, and then it became lighter. Maybe that's a sign. It's going to be hard at first, and then it will get better. Thank you, baby. 
It's a Jizo. <laughs> After visiting two different temples this afternoon, we are now where we're going to be staying for the evening. It's actually a third temple, and this is a Buddhist lodging. We're going to go here for dinner, we're going to stay the night. It's all through here. Traditional Japanese style room. And there will be a bed here at some point. Ah, let's go eat. See what I'm saying? Let's set up for dinner. First course is this interesting. It looks like a turkey burger, but it's not. I'm told it's. That actually might be a turkey burger. It's not. I'm in trouble. Maybe is beyond, it? Beyond turkey. That is delicious. It tastes like a turkey burger. I'm told it's not. That's very good. You don't eat that? <laughs> I mean, it's just a consistency, but different. Whoa. That's a very soft one. Been here for a while. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's matcha inside. Mm. Whoa, that's good. After an interesting dinner, we finished the day with a traditional ceremony in another section of the inn. Already, I'm overwhelmed by how much there is to see and learn in this region of Japan. And this is only day one of the adventure. First stop of the trip is the Naruto World Naruto Naruto Naruto. Am I in focus? It is starting to rain just a little bit, but it doesn't matter. We have all of our gear on. We're starting to make just a. I think I broke it. Hold on. All right, we just took the cable car up here. One of the best things of eating. Is everyone trying to figure out what it is? I work for a company. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Like all the 